The Toyota Mirai is a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. What that means is you fill it with gaseous hydrogen, its fuel cell stack turns that into electricity, and from there it basically operates like an electric car. Oh, and its exhaust? Water. Notice the thematically appropriate backdrop. That sounds like an amazing solution for a world eager to ditch gasoline, but there are complications. I can't fix an immature refueling infrastructure or the fact that most hydrogen produced actually comes from fossil fuels, but I can drive a hydrogen powered car for a day just to see what it's like. From a driving perspective, this is going to be a quick review. Have you ever driven a Prius? Yeah, it's pretty much like that, minus the gasoline engine. Acceleration from a stop is decent thanks to the electric motor, and the Mirai cruises comfortably at LA's typically elevated freeway speeds. One complaint, the steering wheel doesn't come back far enough for my ideal driving position, but on a positive note, the seats are super comfortable and essentially pressure point free. Speaking of seats, the Mirai only has four, so you know, limit your Fred circle to three people, preferably hydrogen fans, for the sake of the planet. And speaking of hydrogen, we should see what it's like to fill this thing up with it. Kaboom! Blow up. If you buy a Mirai, Toyota will pay for three years worth of hydrogen fill-ups up to $15,000. But I didn't buy this Mirai, so let's bust out the KVB credit card. Don't look at the numbers. Okay, so this is interesting. There are two versions. There's uh, H35 and H70. That's a measurement of, m of megapascals, which is a uh, measurement of, of pressure. So we want the, the higher pressure one. And this is what that looks like. We've lifted the handle. Yeah, I've selected that. I forgot to do that. It's totally hydrogening. There we go. Yeah, it kind of sounds like a little, like you're filling up balloons. All right. Now we play the waiting game. While I'm waiting, it's worth mentioning that there are more hydrogen fueling stations than you might think, provided you live in California, the only state where the Mirai is sold. Also, the Mirai's carbon fiber reinforced hydrogen tank is super durable. Toyota shot one with a 50 caliber bullet, and aside from a new 50 caliber hole, the tank's structure stayed perfectly intact. Okay, $26, and we got 1.569 kilograms. I don't know what that means, but I believe we should have more than 300 miles of range. We've doubled our range, and a lot quicker than if we were recharging an electric car. Flip that back. Pull it off. From a complexity standpoint, that's really no big deal. Certainly easier than uh, you know hanging out for you know half hour or more for your uh, supercharged Tesla to, to charge up. Yeah, not bad. With that taken care of, we should have about 312 miles of range, and depending on how we drive it, it should return 67 mile per gallon equivalent fuel economy in both the city and highway drive. One of the main advantages of driving a hydrogen-powered car are these babies right here. If you're in LA and you want to drive anywhere by yourself after 3 p.m., there are three ways. Helicopter, motorcycle, car with carpool stickers. I think the revelation is that, aside from some odd noises, driving the Mirai is not that different from driving any other electrically powered car. It uh, rides nice and smoothly, the interior is Prius chic, uh, yeah, it's a perfectly pleasant conveyance. The Mirai clearly isn't the first hydrogen car, but it is among the most accessible, accessible being a loose term. 
Sold only in California in limited numbers, in a single configuration, interested parties must submit an application that may or may not be accepted by Toyota to either lease a Mirai for $499 a month or buy one for $58,335. Go the purchase route, and Toyota's Trailblazer program adds a $7,500 incentive and 60-month 0% financing. Sweetening the pot further is a $5,000 rebate from the state of California. Toyota hopes to sell 3,000 Mirais by the end of 2017, an admirable goal. Having driven one all day long, uh, notwithstanding the four-passenger layout and the polarizing styling, the limiting factor is not going to be the car itself. Infrastructure, hydrogen production, and the rising tide of battery electric vehicles, that's the challenge. Makes me glad I'm just a reviewer of cars, not somebody who has to figure all that stuff out. Oh, gasoline engine, huh? Guess somebody's not all that serious about saving the planet. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. so, is that water that comes out of the tailpipe? Oh, no, it's not. What?